Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 35 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So there you can see we have this capacitance bridge, and it connected with the battery. The voltage is V0. And then this uh, capacitance bridge has the capacitor C1, C2, C3, Cx. And C1, C2, C3 is given. We need to find the capacitance for Cx. And then you can see from point A to B, it's connected with a voltmeter, right? And then we find the voltmeter is zero. The reading is zero. Then there is no charge flows through the voltmeter. So no charge flows through it. So that makes the, the potential from point A to point B equals. Agree? So that means the point A and the point B equals, the, this is the voltage equals. At this point, the voltage equals. So we can see the potential for V1 and V2 equals. Agree? Because you can see at this point, it equals. It be just split from this point. And then it also tells us the no charge flows through voltmeter. So that makes the point A and the point B the potential equals. So we can see the potential V1 equal to V2. So this 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 line V1 equal to V2, right? Yes. And then can be write as the charge Q1 over C1 and equals charge Q2 over C2. Mm -hmm. Similarly, we can see this point, the voltage equals, and the voltage at A equals voltage at B. So we can see the potential V3 equal to Vx, and then we can write it as V the charge Q3 over the capacitance C3 and the charge Qx over the capacitance Cx. Agree? Yes. And another one, it tells us no charge flows through voltmeter. So that means the, that means the charge from the C1, it will flow through Cx, right? There is no charge through the voltmeter. So that means the charge from C1 equal to the charge at Cx, right? So we can write Q1 equal to Qx. Similarly, the charge from C2 must equal the charge from C3, right? So we can write Q2 equal to Q3. Mm -hmm. Now we can solve the equation for C3 because you can see we have one, two, three, four, four equations and one un un unknown. So we look at there. We need to find the Cx, so we look at this equation. Cx, so we can write it in this uh, equation, right? So we just use Qx over Q, Q3 times C, C, C3, then we get it there, right? Yes. Now you can see Qx and Q3, we don't know. But the given quantity is C1, C2, C3. That means we need to just connect the Qx and Q3 with the capacitance, right? And there it tell you Qx equal to Q1, so we replace it there. And Q3 equal to Q2, so we replace it there. So we get the equation look like this one. Now, can you find the relationship between the Q1, Q2 and the capacitance? Yes, we have this equation, right? From this equation, very easily, you can find Q1 over Q2 equal to C1 over C2. Finally, you get the function for the Cx, just uh, this term, and then input all the given quantity, get the answer there. Thank you.